GCSE Chemistry Core Practical Investigating the temperature rise in a known mass of water by the combustion of alcohols. Chemistryinfo.co.uk Burning simple alcohols starting with methanol. The alcohol is placed in an alcohol burner. 50 centimetres cubed of water is added to a conical flask and the temperature noted. At this stage, the lid is removed from the alcohol and the balance is teared or zero checked. The burner is lit as quickly as possible to reduce the impact of evaporation on the results. We're going to measure the temperature change of the 50 centimetres cubed of water when 0.8 grams of the alcohol is burnt. We can then use this data to calculate the temperature change per gram of alcohol burnt. The process is repeated for ethanol. The height of the conical flask above the burner is kept constant. And we have tried to keep the same flame size. The time is recorded in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. This is because the exam board talk about burning for the same time, but we have chosen to burn the same mass of alcohol. This is possible because we're using a high resolution balance, which wouldn't be available for class sets. We are also using a digital thermometer rather than a normal standard alcohol thermometer. Even so, the resolution of this thermometer is probably something that could be improved. The experiment is again repeated for propanol. The number of carbon atoms is increased by one each time. At this point, you might have noticed that the flame is increasingly yellow as incomplete combustion is now taking place. Though there is a more significant temperature rise as the number of carbon atoms in the molecule increases.
The soot from the incomplete combustion deposited on the surface of the conical flask is now quite obvious. And finally, pentanol. Pentanol is not a formula you're expected to know. However, it is the next alcohol in the series and it's an obvious one to include in the core practical. In this experiment, we have kept the mass of fuel burnt constant and measured the temperature change. You could quite reasonably keep the time constant and measure the temperature change. And this is the most likely experiment to be carried out in class. You can use data from this video to show that as the series goes from methanol up to pentanol, the time taken for a five degree temperature rise decreases significantly. The soot on the beaker is now very apparent. Finally then, these are our results for the burning of alcohols. Methanol, ethanol, propan-1-ol, butan-1-ol, and pentan-1-ol. And as said before, these results can be used to obtain the temperature change per gram of alcohol burnt. Thank you for watching.